Hello everyone and welcome to Quality Old Games. Today we are having part 7 of the Eastern Roman Empire campaign in Rome Total War Remastered Barbarian Invasion. And um, I think we are pretty far in the game, so we still need to get five more provinces. And I think Syracuse most definitely will be one next turn and let's actually make some other siege equipment there and then i think we will continue our assault against the sassanids or rather try to repel their assault against us let's see we have some money but um, I think we should try to get some more. So what about mines here? They would actually be quite nice. And that port especially. So I think we are going to go with the port. And at the same time I think we should... Um, increase defenses a bit here and I think the army in Rome is ready to march forwards so we need to leave some garrison there oh we have first cohort I guess we will leave that into the uh, rather take it along and continue, I guess we will head to Germania from here or towards Gaul from here. Let's see. And of course we need to keep Ravenna from rebelling. It would be actually quite nice to retrain the units there, but I think we need to wait for capturing Syracuse so that we have enough money to do that. Let's hope this army besieges. I guess it's not going to besiege Thesiphon. We have quite a lot of archers, so I think we might be able to challenge that enemy army there. So I think Legiolankiari are better defenders than Comitatensis. And of course we are going to need quite a lot of improvement to the public order to keep this city in check but let's see how we would fare so these are problematic but I think our archer should be able to take them down So five units of Eastern Archers should be able to take quite easily down three Missile Cavalry units. And uh, is the enemy actually going to charge us? That's actually quite interesting. They are not, apparently. But at least our archers can start to pepper the enemy infantry there. On the other hand, I think we should focus on the enemy missile cavalry units.
Well, I guess we can fire at our laser at least for some time. Okay, and it seems they are withdrawing. And I think we can press the issue quite soon with the another assault. So, they lost one-third of their men, not necessarily one-third of their strength. I think the loss of strength there will be somewhere closer to one-fifth or one-fourth. But nonetheless, that's helpful and will allow us to move deeper into the enemy territory there. Okay, so we don't need to worry about upkeep of that agent anymore. I think this general could be a nice addition to defense of Hatra, but we would need to bypass all of these armies, so I guess we need to wait for a bit longer. So we have a turn, let's see what happens. I guess Salona is going to be besieged rather soon. So there are some mountain men, desert archers, light cavalry, and of course enemy faction here. We might have some chances in the city center if we manage to fire decent enough shots against especially the enemy general. So archers will be the key in this defense and of course after we have taken Syracuse I think we should bring that army back to the North Africa to help secure Carthage and uh, was this Lepsis Manga or whatever this, the name of this city was? I think we should drive to spare these guys against the enemy general. So it might mean that we need to put these guys into a bit better position. So that these guys won't be attacked too soon. Well, apparently. It's a bit difficult to get them into the position. Well, I guess that's where they have to be. And... Moorish Raiders, or enemy cavalry is leading the way here. It seems this is the way. And our archers are actually doing decently enough. But I think we need to bring the Limitane to the battle. Or we will just lose it.
and you are not to go to melee. Okay, so I guess this was rather clear defeat. Well, we did inflict some damage, but um, the result is quite bad, to be honest. So, we had five cities to go, and now we have six cities to go. We are still making quite nice amounts of money. And what's the problem here? Squalor distance to capital tax penalty. So they actually... Okay, so it's the high taxes. And perhaps we could start moving out from Antioch. We have an... an this, um, another enemy army blocking our way. That's rather weak. <clears throat> and now it cannot withdraw anymore, so it's, I guess it's time for some target practice for our eastern archers. And let's hope that will be pretty much enough to win the battle here. We need to avoid losses as much as possible. Because I think there will be some additional enemy armies in the area, which we need to deal with. Okay, so they have drawn the line there. I think we can advance safely quite a bit further. So I guess those spearmen are feeling a bit suicidal. Too bad for them. And so much for them. And actually, I don't think we want to move to engage enemies in that close proximity. And the archers are actually doing quite nicely in this battle. I have to say that I just love these eastern archers. The long range and the rather high missile damage they are able to inflict. So basically they single-handedly won this battle. And I think the number of our casualties is basically inflicted by those eastern archers. 
because they are sometimes a bit too eager to shoot when the enemy comes to melee, but... Or maybe I did command them to shoot those guys, but... Nonetheless, nice victory. An enemy army wiped out. And the defenses of Arsakia are rather on the weaker side. The Eastern Archers are quite expensive to be honest, but I think there is enough quality to justify the cost. And maybe some reinforcements here would, wouldn't be too bad. And did I have merchant in Sidon? Oh, that's quite nice. And maybe we could train another merchant in... Constantinople. And I think we need to move once again to block the Goths. And let's see about Syracuse. So there should be only the one bodyguard and this time I think we should be able to get on the wall. And let's hope it's the ladders, because if the siege tower gets burned down, I'm going to lose the battle. Hmm. Maybe I should have waited a bit, but let's hope it's the ladders. And of course, if the peasants break, I will lose that way too. And of course, when I lose, I will lose the whole army. Hmm. So basically that means that I need to bring another army from the Italian mainland to deal with these guys. Okay, it's the siege tower and... Um, if I put it here... I think only that tower can shoot at us. So it should be the best option. Okay, apparently they decided to go there. Which might be actually an even better solution. Okay, so this is the way to the city center, I think, yes it is. So basically we need to capture the gateway first, and then this tower is the crucial one. And of course we will keep the peasants out of the real fighting. Okay, and it's time to move forwards with these guys. And let's make sure that they all go the right way. So I think the tactics here should be that the... Our bodyguard engages the enemy first. And perhaps I should send a flanking force that way. So that means we need to capture 
some additional towers from here. But to the plan, so... I think the general's bodyguard should be the first unit to engage the enemies. And... Uh, after that... We should... Spring the rest of the troops engage. So basically we need to form up at least somewhere. Of course if we were able to draw the enemy general out from the city center it would be great but I'm doubting that it will happen. Okay, so there is going to be a charge, and I guess we want to have these guys supporting our general. And we are about to get a surround. Even though we cannot break the enemy general, at least we should be able to just pound him into submission. Of course, the only real danger is that our general gets killed and our force breaks, but I think we managed to do rather okay here. That's some nice amount of money we just got and a decent enough boost to our income as well. I think we need to train actually we need to make a trireem and then some defensive forces there. And now let's fix things in Ravenna. Can we actually get some additional trade from the port? Not too much and not too much from the roads either. So I think we have better things to do with our money than just training those, but I think I want to try these Equites Cataphracti or Equites Clibinari. I think we will go with the Clibinari. And... Um, hmm. Oh, we have Ballista. I think it can reinforce the defense while this rest of the army goes forwards. And let's make some defensive units here, rather public order maintaining units rather. And from Tarentum, I think we should lower the taxes a bit and bring the governor to Rome. And Salona most definitely could use some additional defenses. Do we have some mercenaries available? We do. Let's get those. And then I think some financial investments would be nice. 
perhaps some mercenaries and from Thessalonica let's see dockyard won't bring any benefits I guess that 100 is okay and um, let's see about Ephesus we are building the port there Constantinople that would be okay Ankara roads will give some benefits but not too much okay we need to have Imperial Palace here so that pretty much guides what we are going to do there what's about dockyard in Antioch that's actually quite beneficial however it will cost a lot and in Jerusalem dockyard okay in Antioch and Jerusalem dockyards will be quite nice and what's the matter in Dumatha public order is over 70% so I think they should be happy there and then it's time to start training troops and let's do so in Hatra perhaps in okay we cannot do that in Sinope but I think we should get a bit better troops from Ctesiphon and it seems Kyrene needs some attention as well and Kaidonia is already building what about Salona would Sipright be beneficial? It would. So let's make one. And I think we have uh, a turn. And did we have a diplomat here somewhere? Yes, we have. Let's see if we can find some people to sell our maps so Kesara is growing Salamis is growing and in Salamis we are going to need to build Proconsul's palace it seems <coughs> it seems the Goths are giving it another try let's hope we have good defensive positions as the enemy has quite a lot of missile cavalry This location here will do okay.
At least these guys are breaking quite fast. That's good. And I really think our missile unit should focus on the enemy missile cavalry. Okay, and we have a victory. Not full victory, but at least... Well, maybe a bloodied nose for the Goths is an understatement. I think we crippled that army pretty hard. Let's see if they are going to vent out their anger at Salona. I think we will lose this fight. But let's see. Okay, so they are going to give the crossing a try. Quite many family members there. Of course, taking them out will go a long way in eradicating the vandals altogether. So, basically, enemy missile units won't be a problem in this battle. But those family members clearly will be. And unfortunately, it seems our legionaries, legionary cohorts have suffered quite heavy casualties in recent sorties. So I think we need to put those um, first cohort to the front so that we can actually manage to hold the line there. And of course getting some shots off before they even start crossing the bridge will be quite beneficial. Okay, at least one warlord went down. Let's try to hit kind of the main enemy boss there.
I guess that's two enemy generals down. And let's see if we could take down the enemy king as well. Excellent. I guess that army has been completely wiped out. And all three family members as well. That will go a long way. Helping take out the Vandals. And actually, one demonium achievement unlocked. So, the Vandals were neutralized. And of course, since they were occupying that fort... Uh, oh, two family members here. Will make things a bit more difficult. But since they are occupying that fort, I don't think we need to man it. Because... Um, any Roxolani or Han or Sarmatians that want to get to the bridge need to go past that fort. And I think this battle is quite crucial so that we can keep control of the Northern Africa. And of course Carthage is rather important city. Income wise as well. So basically the enemy has battering rams and one siege tower. So we have some Legiolankiaris. I'm just wondering, could we hold the enemy here? But since the way to the city center is quite difficult for the enemy to get into, I think we should focus our defense here. So let's see what happens. So it seems we are going to lose the gateway at the very least. And it seems the AI has learned to move troops far enough from the tower so not to get any additional casualties while moving the battering rams into position. Well, at least the enemy is taking some damage there, but the number of our infantry is rather limited. I think our cavalry will decide the course of the battle, mostly. Of course, the crossbows, if they can get some good hits, they can be quite beneficial. But let's see 
how we will fare. At least the first attacks have been thwarted. Okay, I think we can bring the cavalry units back here. So, the enemy still has the two bodyguards, one unit of Berber Axemen, and then some desert archers. Well, at least that tower got some shots off. Pretty slow paced at the moment. So let's hope the enemy generals come rather soon in so we could finish this battle. And there are some peasants there. I guess that unit could be able to handle them. Now we should have the enemy generals coming in. Let's try to take down those archers before we end up fighting the final battle of this battle. Okay, good. One general down. And I guess we took down the second one as well. Okay, nice. Perhaps we could get a man of the hour here.
and actually I don't I haven't seen any notification of rebels or rather the Western Roman Empire rebels and that's actually quite interesting so let's negotiate with the Franks oh mm. Well, 300 denarii is always 300 denarii, and it's interesting why all of a sudden we have lost so much of our income. Maybe I trained too many troops. And I guess next turn we will move to Carthage. And this army, I think the looting opportunities there are so much more lucrative that we will head that way. Oh, I guess this explains our loss of income. And actually, I don't think we need to have these ships here. some mines in this region okay that's not good but I think that's olive oil there is decent enough and from Athens I think we could send this guy to that timber resource Okay, so all of them are on the move. Could we make another merchant? Actually two in Antioch. Oh, and two cities have been besieged. I think Arsakia will fall next turn. Um, okay, so the fort there was destroyed. Let's build a new one. And I guess it will be manned by seven Legiolankiaris. do something about the public order here, perhaps monthly games. And um, Hermitage. At least Dumatha is well and happy at the moment. Let's see how Hatra will fare. So, I guess, once again, we have uh, a turn. Order. 
Okay, Gesserra is besieged. After we break those Sassanid seeds, I think we should be in rather good position to win the war against them. Okay, the Roxolani are not in the horde mode, that's good, and um, we could actually try to capture Colonia Darkia at some point. But let's actually handle the merchants. Okay, that's actually quite valuable. Yes. In Antioch. Hmm. Let's take that incense. Okay, I think that's clear. And the question here is, should we move against Colonia Darkia? Or perhaps against that settlement there? But it might become a liability at some point. So maybe it's better to play it safe, especially since this arm here is taking care of the Goths. I think capturing this city might actually force the Sassanids to withdraw. That Klipinari unit will be problematic, but I think we have enough heavy hitters in our army to deal with them, especially those eastern archers. So, let's see how we fare. So there is only one unit basically on the wall. I think Mountain Slingers should fall to commit Atensis. Except these guys are wavering. Okay. They managed to break the enemy there. And let's secure two different pathways to the city center.
I guess we need to advance a bit further. And of course, putting a flanking force there would be quite nice. And I think we are ready to fire at will. And at least the clipinaries are starting to take some damage. Excellent. So basically, and now we have a decent sized army at the enemy rear during the Eastern Front. And that's going to make things quite problematic for them. because they will have difficulties keeping us from advancing towards other of their cities. Of course, if they manage to capture these, then we are also in trouble, but I think we should be able to hold in those larger cities. And since Rome is such a good city, I think we should utilize it by training, for example, Comitatensis first cohorts. And perhaps Mediolanum requires some additional support for maintaining public order. And did Caesarea actually have a... Oh, we are building the Imperial Palace there. Yes. So, I think this is everything for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the content, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That will help a great deal. Feel free to also give advice, ask questions and so on. And I think for the video description I will link some historical documentaries about hmm, about Limitane. I guess that would be interesting. So the kind of frontier troops of the Roman empires. So if you are interested historical Limitane, remember to check those documentaries out. Have a great rest of the day.
Quality Old Games, out.